Okay, the next problem I want to explore is number 17. How long does it take light to travel from the sun to the earth, right? And what we know is that the distance between the sun and the earth is 1 AU, which is equal to 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters. And we also know that if some light travels toward the earth, it does so at a speed of three times 10 to the eight meters per second. And so here, what we're going to do is apply the equation that I gave to you, which is that distance is equal to speed times time, which I had rearranged solving for time, which is distance divided by speed. So if I apply what I know to this equation, right, then the time, t, that it takes for light to get from the sun to the earth is given by the distance to the earth in meters divided by the speed of light in meters per second. And then notice here that my units cancel, so my the unit of meters canceled, and I showed you before that the when we have the situation of 1 over 1 over a unit, that ends up being the same as just the unit. So this is one of those tricks that you can remember. Um, it's easy to prove 1 divided by 1 over seconds. If I multiply that whole expression by 1 in this form, then I get seconds divided by 1. Okay, so now all I need to do is simplify. Um, 1.5 is half of 3, so that's 0 0.5. And now my exponents subtract, so I've got 11 in the numerator minus an 8 that's in the denominator, and of course we know that the units work out to be seconds. So now I have one, 0 0.5 times 10 to the 3 seconds. Um, this is not in proper scientific form because this number is not between 1 and 10. So I need to express the, boy, the 0 0.5 as 5 times 10 to the minus 1. And then that whole thing is still multiplied by the 10 to the minus 3 that I started with before. And so now I have 5 times 10 to the, and now I'm going to add those exponents, minus 1 plus 3. And I get 5 times 10 to the 2 seconds. Um, most people would just write that as 500 seconds. And then if you're me, 500 seconds doesn't make any sense. I have no intuition for that number of seconds, so I'm going to convert to minutes. Oops. And so if I have 500 divided by 60, then one of my powers of 10 cancels. And then 50 divided by 6 is something close to um, 8, because 8 times 6 is 48. So I'm going to call it about 8 minutes. All right, so that's how we find the amount of time it takes for light to travel from the sun to the earth.